station that uh, is the N0 DAI bulletin board system. It consists of a 386 uh, computer, a color monitor, keyboard, and up above a variety of TNCs, data engines, D410 radios, and even an ICOM IC471 uh, that's been modified to operate at 9600 baud. To the left of the screen and in the upper left hand corner are two VHF 2 meter radios which uh, provide services on 14501 and 14509. Now let's take a look at the installation of the high speed packet network node in Fairbo that was performed this spring. Ray Gander and raise up about 125 feet there on the tower at Fairbo. This is Saturday, May 23rd, and uh, this is the day we're installing the high speed packet link at Fairbo. I'll give you some perspective uh, as to how high up. He is. I'll just take another stretch back up there and zoom in on Ray. He's getting ready to affix the uh, antenna that will be beamed back at Apple Valley at uh, at that height. And pretty soon he's going to ask us to send up some clamps in that bucket that you see uh, in front of him on the other side of the tower. There, there it is. Bucket's coming down now, and he's going to have us put the bracketry and stuff in there that he can haul up uh, to the top of the tower and uh, affix the antennas. It looks like he got it on the wrong side of the guy wire, so he's... I'm going to try and uh, organize that. There it goes. <laughs> My goodness, there's Bob on the left and JC... ...to the rope here. Oh, that's Let's, what we're doing. We're, we're holding the rope. Where the hell does this rope go? It goes Looks like it's uh, going up the tower quite a ways. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. It's about time to zoom in on Ray. Ray's up there. He's got the bucket that we just sent the clamps up in. You guys want to make your minds up, so we got hungry. Some people don't think about Quite a ways up in the sky. And Bob walked away, and there's JC holding the bag. I mean the rope. Always get. Here's our uh, motley crew: Don on the left, Bob in the middle, and JC on the right. There's the uh, building that the node is located in and then the base of the top there which uh, basically goes skyward all right well the food just got here tower but we're gonna eat <laughs> now now Marv's got the right idea he's just uh, kind of said piss on it and <laughs> <laughs> That's all he does. We're He's... having a hard time pissing that high. <laughs> there goes the Apple Valley beam antenna up the rope, up the tower. That's up to the uh, about the 130 some foot level right there. Looks like the bucket's just about there. Looks like he's got it. That's the antenna that will be beamed north to Apple Valley.
Uh, he's got the ma the mounting stub uh, secured already, and now it's time to put the antenna on. Aerial ports, Bob, but since those are all dual port TNCs, that's oh, that's okay. enough. It looks like he's generally setting it up to go to the north. And, uh, well, it's probably just, you know, while he's affixing it, you know, line it up. We'll line him up with a compass from the ground here. Once he gets it secure, it's still flapping around pretty good up there. Hard to get a perspective on the height there until I zoom way back and <laughs> swing down the and you'll be down there. Now that antenna he just put up that's aimed toward Apple Valley. Now he's down at the point where he's going to mount the antenna going to Dodge Center. I'll kind of zoom back on this. Okay, now uh, Ray's about the same place he was a few seconds ago. And now we're going to just sort of pan around here so you can get an idea. We're slowly lowering the camera as we look out over the horizon. Uh, to the uh, basically southwest area here. We're, uh, we're definitely up on some high ground. I just hope these pictures turn out better in color than what they look like through the viewfinder. Kind of zoom it here a little bit. Try and stay on the horizon. We're on quite high ground here. Saying? No, it ain't really got pizza in it. There's <laughs> bag there. Barfing the bag. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, get Two pieces of pizza, radio antenna, gloves, and. Uh, and here I am left holding yeah, the rope. And there's old JC just holding the bag again. Hey, there's only one pizza up there. What, what else would you want to do on a Saturday afternoon, boy? <laughs> it can't get any better than oh, this. Now, is that finger looking good or what? Huh? Is that finger looking good or what? There you go! <laughs> All right! Does <laughs> <laughs> that thing I do? This is our highly trained machine shop crew. He's, he's not behind the fence for any uh, any particular reason. I'm going to ducky. Now, here we are inside the building, and uh, the radio up. there's the equipment going in. A new shelf going in. We go for that mouse. That puts good in. Well, as you saw in the videotape, we had a good time at Fairbo installing the high-speed network node. This has just been the first of several that have gone into place since that time. Uh, the Southland Group, Bob Dubke uh, primarily involved, installed a node at Dodge Center. And more recently, uh, Southland and Riverland, along with uh, Kent Hellman, W9LZQ have collaborated to complete the high-speed network linking between Rochester and La Crosse, Wisconsin. As you can see, our high-speed network is growing, and in the future we hope to see that uh, uh, this, this system will uh, continue to grow and uh, provide high-speed 
backbone services for all packet radio users. Hope you enjoyed the show. Th th that's all, folks. <laughs>